Hey, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Mechal Kadash, Barakata. I want to give double honor to our apostles who are elders who rule well. I should bless the salutations to you, brothers, out there teaching in truth and sincerity. Now, this lesson today, I want to go over is uh, the sorceries of Esau, particularly uh, scrying via uh, the black mirror, via using a black mirror. Now, if you can see um, so far during the post, is that you see these mirrors that are used for scrying. And uh, these mirrors have a uh, similarity to a lot of devices that we use in today's society, such as iPads, cell phones, and uh, flat screens. All right. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with a precept. So I can let me look it up. We we'll go to Leviticus 19 and 31. All right. So in Leviticus 19 and 31, it says, uh, "Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after the wizards to be defiled um, by them. I am the Lord your power." Uh, so see here i don't know if my phone will allow me to do both at once but i'm going to try to look it up hopefully my uh audio doesn't cut off on me you know so those familiar spirits again it's not no no as a apostle it's not no if you're next door neighbor somebody you know these familiar spirits is uh it's necromancers necromancers one who invokes the dead ghost spirit of a dead one uh, practice a necromancy one that has a familiar spirit okay um, see here I want to get this other scripture so we're going to go into Exodus 22 and 18 In Exodus 22 and 18 it says thou shalt not suffer a witch to live as very plain straight to the point so the word witch is uh, to practice witchcraft or sorcery use witchcraft sorcerer sorceries so just in case because people like to play semantics and play on words um, so we're going to go to etymology and look up these words all right, so when you go to etymology, which is an online dictionary, the origin of words. Okay, so we're going to go to wizard. The wizard is a philosopher. Um, philosopher, sage, wise, um, ard. And ard is a suffix for um, forming the second element in many personal names, often used... Uh, so you know um one who stammers you know so um basically it's telling you that one forming a, a second element in many personal names often see here i don't want to skip over anything that's why i read it again so basically it, it, it um brings brings to life uh whatever Ard basically brings to life what is uh, the prefix of it. So wise, um, which you go into wise, of course, is learn, sages, cunning, prudent, discreet, experience, having the power of discerning and judging rightly, things like that. So the word wizard just goes back to bringing life uh, the things you know, you know, such as, you know, the dead or anything of that area. So um, let's go into the next word. Uh, necromancer Necromancer 
is um, sorcerer adept in black magic, uh, one who communicates with the dead, but typically used in a broader sense. Um, so you go to necromancy, properly divination by communicating with the dead, uh, magic, necromancy, witchcraft, sorcery. Um, it just goes back into uh, neck. Neck means uh, death. And Matenya divination oracle from to prophesy from Mantis, one who divines a seer prophet, one touched by divine madness, be inspired, which is related to Mano's passion spirit, mania, mania. The spelling is influenced by uh, a nigger, a, a nigger means black on notion of black arts. So. Though this is the basically the left hand side of uh, so called magic, you know, because um, when you let's get the word magic, I haven't really looked that word up. I think I looked it up at all before. It says the art of influencing or predicting events and producing marvels using hidden natural forces, also supernatural art, especially the art of controlling the actions or spiritual or superhuman beings. Uh, so, you know, this is on point. Um, with the magic, you got right side and left side because magic is what influencing or predicting events and producing marvelous marvels using hitting natural forces. On the right hand side, those an those are angels, you know, those are dreams that the Most High gives us, things like that. So you go on the left hand left hand side is using your wisdom. You know, you got your so called ancestors. You got uh, different um, elements within this world that they use, such as black mirrors, candles. Uh, signs uh, different rituals okay to produce this so now when you go into the element of um, black mirrors I want to get this uh, we're gonna go into the uh, the element of scrying okay matter of fact I'm gonna get the etymology of it before we go into the word scrying um, to scry means to see images in a crystal water which reveals the past or forebode the future um a shortening of descry so we go to the word descry it means to discern publish to write down copy uh detect find find out discover discover by vision get sight of since the word has uh been more or less confused with descry um so it's basically they're using um to and also says uh the second definition to proclaim announce make known a word now obsolete uh so basically they they're using these devices to not only channel certain energies but they're also looking through these devices to look at you through these devices that's why it was uh when the first transition of you know, um, the uh, from the regular TV screens, which was more of a glass, to a uh, the flat screen, which is more is is black screen based, um, and all these other devices are black screen based. You know, because like you could t you could turn off a Nokia phone, and you can see how that screen is more. You know, it has a green tone, green tint to it. You can see that the light produces its um, graphics whereas when you turn off a mobile device such as your iPhones your Galaxy your Droids such on and so forth the screen turns totally black and you're able to see this you know and I was watching this movie on Netflix that was re relative to it I forget the name of it um, but it was dealing with it and um, basically the chick was like a lonely person she was born through witchcraft and the house burned down she was the only one that lived Blah, 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 but long story short, she ended up killing herself by via suicide, and um, she used a black mirror to channel, to put herself in the mirror to possess others. And um, these people that were on their, their computers were getting possessed by her via through her putting herself into the black mirror and using that as a weird defense because they said um you know it was going over how witches when they were hunted down and then they had no way out they basically would burn themselves 
by hanging and in front of a black mirror and um that way they can basically enter that that realm with the control of uh possessing others who ever look into it so once you go into our element you got things that we're watching on tv that's projected to us but really behind that is a black screen that's uh that that basically can manipulate your thoughts, manipulate your emotions, manipulate your uh, your drive. You know they could put sexual desires on you. They could put they put a, a, a slugger demon on you. They basically can induce demons on you by being uh, all into your phones and these TVs and these devices. And you can see in today people are, you know, really all of us are are just locked into these devices, which basically uh, 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 induces, um, put us in, 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 a, in a deuce comatose uh, state, you know what I'm saying? Comatose state. You know, we're basically like drunkards, you know what I'm saying? Walking around, not even controlling our desires. We're, our desires are unstable. They're controlled by these, you know, devices to where um, it could give you the ADHD, a short span of attention, um, memory, um, memory loss, all kind of demons that whatever they want to induce, and they're just pumping it through. And you know, it could be even if you tune into a certain channel, they could pump in a certain demon on you. You know, um, you playing video games, whatever. You know, so um, in all reality, uh, you know, it's always best to uh, you know, you know, minimize your your uh, electronics. You know, even a five G. They got all these, you know, these sorceries. So I want to get this scripture in light of that, you know. So we're going to go to Numbers 23 and 23. It says, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divinations against Israel. According to his time, it shall be, it shall be said of Jacob. And all of his, uh, and all of Israel, what have the um, Most High wrath? Okay, so that word enchantment pretty much goes back to the um, the same word of it's a Hebrew word nachash, which goes back into the word divination or enchantment. So uh, let's see here. Let's go to the. Uh, etymology for the word enchantment um enchantment is act or um act of magic or witchcraft use of magic magic power uh magic spell song concert chorus bewitch there you go look put you in that drunken state you're bewitched enchant spell you know so they're using these devices to put us under spells and and, and, and it and it produces you know, and this is not a fact for me, but I believe like even certain channels and certain games and certain things, they kind of tune into a certain vibration of uh, uh, that enchantment, like uh, uh, um, the the Lifetime Network. You know, it produces that that hatred for women against men. You know what I'm saying? Not only they 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 program you through television, but that that. Uh, that energy wave of that channel can incite the emotional aspect. You're seeing it and being programmed visually, and they can um, also put a wave out there and use that enchantment to do that. And also they can watch you and see what you're into and also get their uh, uh, what to do and what to what new device or what new thing they want to sell people through uh, these and um these enchantments and then you got the algorithms of, of, of Facebook and things like that or what you look up you know so these people are using this um, this device of the black mirror to uh, basically uh, enchant or also bewitch um, Jacob um, and uh, really everybody into being um, sheep you know such as the news um, things like that you know so you know, it's like inciting the energy that you're kind of looking for, but it's like amplifying it when you go to it. So, you know, it's some may be bread and circuses, some may be, you know, 
produce anger. Some again, some maybe produces a sexual desires, sluggardness, undiscipline, uh, violence, and things like that. So um, this this shows that Esau is real heavy into his sorcery, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, one of these things is like you know, just stop. You know, don't you don't gotta stop, but because the scripture says, you know, surely there's no enchantment against Jacob, but it's you know. The thing is, the enchantment against Jacob is back, basically the Lord is protecting us from that enchantment. So, you know, we should and be investing more time into Yahweh Bashim Shai than um, investing our time um, into, uh, you know, these devices and things like that. Like, you know, it's almost an oxymoron to say, hey, don't be on this device or be on devices. And we're sitting here bringing information through devices. So it's like, you know, don't overload yourself with this. Get yourself a breath of fresh air. Go out. Let your own mind think for itself instead of letting, you know, devices produce, you know, or go read a book and see and read that way, you know, instead of always reading via through the phone, you know. Um, just basically try to limit your the time that you spend on uh, devices such as this. So, um... I want to get this last scripture just proving, you know, enchantment. So we're going to go to um, 1 Samuel 28 and 15. Okay, um, I guess I got go to go really to, to the first verse. It says, um, And it came to pass in those days that the Philistines gathered their armies together for warfare to fight with Israel. And, and Achish said unto David, know, know thou surely that thou should go out with me to battle thou and thy men. And David said unto um, Achish, uh, Surely thou shalt know what thy servant can do. And Achish said to David, Therefore will I make thee keeper of, thy, of mine head forever. Now Samuel was dead, and all Israel had lamented him, and buried him in Ramah, even in his own city. And Saul had put away those that had familiar spirits, and the wizards out of the land. And the Philistines gathered themselves together, and came and pitched and shooting them, and uh, and Saul gathered all Israel together and pitched in Gilboa. And Saul saw that the host of the Philistines were uh, saw the host of the Philistines. He was afraid, and his heart greatly trembled. Uh, and when Saul uh, inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not, neither by dreams nor by Urim, nor by the prophets. So Saul suck, suck his magic. On the right hand side, because he used a urine, he prayed, and he looked for the prophets, okay, which is basically ultimately the, the definition of magic, right? Then Saul then said Saul unto his servants, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her. So he sucked the left hand side of it and inquired of her. And his servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath uh, a familiar spirit in a door, at a door. And Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment, and he went, and two two men with him, and they came to the woman by night, and he said, I pray thee, divine unto me uh, by the familiar spirit, and bring me um, bring me him up, whom I shall name unto thee. And uh, and the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul hath done, and he hath cut off those that have familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. Wherefore, then layest thou, thou a snare for my life to cause me to die. So she felt like Saul was setting her up to be killed. And Saul said, and Saul swear to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee uh, for this thing. And then said the woman, Whom shall I bring thee up, bring up unto thee? And she said, Bring, um, and he said, Bring me up Samuel. Okay, because we all know in the early in the first, early in chapter says Samuel was dead. Okay, um, which Jake always considered nowadays they like to use the word ancestor, ancestor, but they get that from Ham and all these other 
all this other shit. But ancestor is an actual word and actual usage, but they kind of take it and using the spirit of their ancestors, basically the divining spirits and, and, and bringing them up to use them. And it's been used through music and all kind of other things, okay? It says, and the king said unto her, be not afraid for thou, for what sawest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, um, Salakia, Uh, verse 12, okay, verse 12. I went to verse 13, Salakia. It says, And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice, and the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what sawest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. <laughs> you know, and he said unto her, uh, What form is he of? And she said, An old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived it was Samuel, and he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. And Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered and said, I'm sore distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and the Most High is um, departed from me, and answered me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I call thee. That thou mayest make me known, make known unto me what I shall do. Then Samuel, uh, then said Samuel, Wherefore then doest thou ask me, ask of me, seeing the Lord is departed from thee, and is become thine enemy, and the Lord have done to um, done to him, as he spake by me, for the Lord hath rent the kingdom out of the uh, out of thine hand and given it to thy neighbor, even to David. You know so. Um, at the end of the day, you know, Saul was, um, Saul was, um, Samuel didn't take lightly of being summoned, so, so to speak, for lack, for lack of better words. And, um, you know, and, and it's interesting that it says, it's seeing God's uh, ascending, um, descending, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's like a, I want to say this, get the wrong word. Uh... Yeah, it says, I saw God's ascending out of the earth. Okay, so once we go to that word ascending, so we can get the clarity on it. Uh, it says, to go up, ascend, climb. To go up, ascend, to meet, visit, follow, depart, withdraw, retreat. To go up, come up. To spring up, go, grow, shoot forth. So, basically, she's seen the, 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 the transferring of spirits. Okay, going to, going to the third heaven, man. You know what I'm saying? basically that transferring and she basically was like oh snap you know like you you know what i'm saying she's seen the people she basically opened the door to to the elect or or the righteous and seeing them transferring it's like hold up you know these people are you know are gods you know what i'm saying which are basically ultimately um we are gods so she's seen she's seen us for lack of better words the israelites and or the elect and had to sit there and take a a, a a reality check and say, hold up, you saw. Because ain't nobody else know how to, you know, summon this this doorway. You know what I'm saying? Nobody knows about this doorway or would even open this one. You know, only you would do something like that. And um, also, those that doorway most likely would have revealed that to her based off of who was in that doorway, which was Samuel. Okay, ultimately. Um, but at the end of the day, this whole situation, when he did this, this was a negative. This wasn't a positive. This wasn't cool. All right. But it shows you that you he had the ability to go and summon Samuel on the left hand side. You know what I'm saying? So if you can summon Samuel, think about all the other divinations that you can summon via through this uh, 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 this mirror subconsciously or even on purpose. OK. And the thing about summoning people is that you don't know what you summoning with it because you're not calling upon the most high to get a pure channel of uh, uh, of so-called magic for lack of better words you know what we call spiritual power all right you call upon the most high he'll send the angel but you call upon that black mirror or that 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 doorway 
you know, anything could come with it. You know, you got movies called uh, like Insidious and other things where they, you know, it's like when a chick, when they, when they went to get her, their son out this dark place and they went and got him out of there and, a, and another spirit came with it, man. You know, so I just want to go over the fact that this, you know, of this witchcraft and, and how much it exists and how much of a part it plays. So let's get into this um, this thing of scrying, okay? And we'll we'll call it a day after that. So scrying, it's um it says also known. This is the Wikipedia for scrying. All right. Let's say, look at Satan, man. You know, as soon as we about to get into the details. This is also known by various names such as seeing or peeping. It's the practice of looking into a suitable medium in the hope of detecting significant messages or visions. The, ob the object might be personal guidance, prophecy, revelation, or insp inspiration. But down the ages, scrying in, in various forms also has been a prominent means of divination or fortune telling. All right. It says it remains popular in occult circles discussed in many media, both modern and um and centuries old. Okay, so that's that's the uh scrying in itself. So the definition says there's no definitive distinction between scrying and other aids of um clary clairvo clairvoyance augury or divination but roughly speaking scrying depends on fancied impressions of, or of visions in the medium of choice so you're basically tapping into the spirit world via through the medium of spirits okay as i said you don't know what spirit you're tapping into because you don't have control you got to call upon the name of the most high to get that right size spirit to get that that the um proper amount you know this nigga is, is weed whacking nothing, you know. Number Satan, man. All right, it says in the um, side dilly, in this respect, it differs from augury, which relies on interpretations of objectively observable objects or events. Satan, man. Shit pissing me off, but it's all good. It says, which depends on the interpretation of dreams from the psychological effects of psychoactive drugs and from uh, clair clairvoyance, clairvoyance in which notionally does not depend on objective sensory stimuli, uh, stimuli. Clairvoyance, in other words, is regarded as among, in essence, to um, extress, what is it? extress sensory perception. And the stressory perception ESP, also called sixth sense, includes claimed reception of informal, not gained through the recognized physical sense. So it's the you know the spirit revealing it to you. Okay, it's like the Lord told Peter, you know, this is the right hand side of him using his sixth sense, or our spiritual, uh, the Holy Spirit, which is our sixth sense. Okay, but the wicked sixth sense would be so-called ancestors or, or, or demons okay and that's the left hand side of a, a so-called sixth sense so scrying is neither a single clearly defined nor formal discipline and there is no informity in the procedure which repeatedly and independently have been uh reinvented or elaborated in many ages uh, and religions furthermore practitioners and authors coin terminology so arbitrary arbitrarily and often artificially okay um so i want to get to not this chapter but this chapter after that next chapter says scrying has been practiced by many cultures and beliefs that it can reveal the past present or future some practitioners asserted that visions that can't come when one stares into a media into the media are from the uh, subconscious or imagination while others say it, they come from gods, spirits, devils, and or the psychic mind, depending on the culture and practice. There is see that's why she knew it was Saul. 
You know, <laughs> it's like the culture. All right. There is neither any systematic body or empirical support. You know, so they basically give you the truth and throw a bone in there. You know, saying, oh, this is what it is, but this is what it's, we don't know. All right. Uh, it says the media most commonly used in scrying are reflective, refractive, translucent, or luminescent surfaces or objects such as crystals, stones, or glass in various shapes such as crystal balls, mirrors, reflective black surfaces such as obsidian, uh, water surfaces, fire, or smoke. But there is no special limitation, you know, basically on it. You know what I'm saying? It says scrying generally either suggests images directly such as figures in fire, fluid, eddies, or clouds. Um, you know, so you like the Lord coming in a burning bush, things like that. That's her right hand side. But Esau used crystal balls. They used these devices on the left hand side. Okay. And um, so I, I don't want to go into uh, all into detail. You know, you can you can Wikipedia it. Um, it's a lot of information that's important within it. Um, but it, it, it I'm gonna use read this last paragraph that I wanted. I was gonna quote it, but. It says, Nostradamus practiced scrying. He was staring to a bowl of water or a magic mirror to see the future while he was in a trance. So it shows that, uh, you know, that it was used. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's how he got information about these times. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord basically allowed that, you know, because the things that he predicted, a lot of these things have come in the past to this day, you know. So, with that being said, I want to give all praises as we land past. So, with that being said, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Mechah Kodash. I want to give double honors to our apostles, to our elders who rule well. I want to say blessed salutations to you brothers out there teaching and doing truth and sincerity. Hey, say I have a thumb to quiet. Shalom.